Are you looking for more appropriate solutions to improve the efficiency of your retail, logistics, warehousing or catering business? From thermal label printers to shipping scales, we sell a variety of products to do just that. Munbin, more choice for your growing business. Visit munbin.com. We know anxiety doesn't work nine to five. So anyone can text shout anytime, but being there 24 seven takes funding. Click to donate and join the Thumb War for mental health. Cherry Printers are an established printing company that produce quality products at sensible prices. From cash receipts and invoice books to GDPR compliant confidential visitor signing books, they have it all. For more information, visit cherryprinters.co.uk. Unboxed. Proudly sponsored by Cherry Printers. Body image. Feeling good about how you look. There can be a lot of pressure to look a certain way and fit in with everyone else. Sometimes you can be hurt or affected by what others think and say. You might be feeling unhappy about your hair, skin colour or your weight or embarrassed about your wearing glasses or braces. It can be hard to accept how you look if you feel pressure to have perfect skin or a certain type of body shape. In a recent survey, 25% of young people said celebrities have caused them to worry in relation to their body image and 19% said TV shows cause them to worry also in relation to their body image. How young people develop their sense of ideal appearance is varied, but young people often identify the media, pressure from family and friends, comparisons of peers, and personal factors like low self-esteem, feelings of depression, and a need for control as important influences on their body image. You are listening to Unbox with an episode about body image. Unbox with Finley Ratnet. Finley Ratnet. So for this episode, I'm joined by Grace, who is 19 years old. She's from Germany, but she's studying art and design at a college in Gloucestershire. Hi, Grace. Hello. Now, you're actually talking to me from Germany at the moment, aren't you? Yeah, I am. You're from there, so is it nice to be back? Um, Yeah, it is nice to be back. Um, I love being in Germany, of course, but also I miss England. So, yeah. Already? Wow. (laughs) Wow. Um, now, at the start of each episode, I ask each guest to tell me about a special talent they have or a fun fact, and it gives us the chance to find out more about the guest. Now, Grace has got a fun fact to tell us, so Grace, go ahead and amaze us. What have you got? Well, um, I once was asked by my family um, about what my dream birthday would be, and of course, everyone else said, oh, you know, just with family and friends. Um, going on walks and I literally said my dream birthday would be when I turn 25 I'd like to go to the Bahamas and I'd like to swim with pigs because there's a pig island and you can actually swim with real sized pigs with with so pigs I'm gonna do that when I'm 25 I didn't even know you could swim with pigs I didn't even know pigs could swim well I think they're trained so you can swim with them, but it sounds amazing, and um, I would. So I'm going to do that when I turn 25. <laughs> <laughs> so is that in the sea, or where, where where do you swim with them? So it's basically a pig. So the, basically, the pig island is an island in the sea from the Bahamas, um, and it's basically a beach where pigs live on it. And you can to get to that island. You do have to go with a boat, but um, you can like jump into the sea and swim with the pigs in the actual sea and go like in and out and all that kind of stuff. So it sounds amazing. I'm just looking at pictures now of this in, in the Bahamas. That looks that looks amazing. I'm getting excited for you, I think. I know. I love it. And I, yeah, I've seen it all over the internet. I'm like, oh my God, I really want to go. So... Hopefully, I, I can go when I'm 25. That's amazing. I never knew even even knew that was a thing. Why, why when you're 25? Well, I thought that. Um, well, five is my lucky number. Plus, 25 is actually a really good 
age to go because you're not too young, though you're not too old. Plus, also, um, that it's amazing, you know, good to go with friends like when you're in your 20s or 30s. So, I think 25 would be amazing. Plus, I want to go as soon as possible. So, I said 25. <laughs> Oh my goodness! Swimming with pigs never, never even knows a thing. Finley Ratness unboxed. So today we're talking about body image in this episode, and I understand that you've actually had issues with your body image in the past, and it sounds like this affected you quite a bit. Yes, it did. Do you want to tell us a little bit about that? Well, um, I do struggle with a lot of body image just because. Um, I am not the kind of way that. I should be at my kind of age. So, of course, it's been mm, plus. Um, I'm like, I've been bullied for it in my school, um, which, of course, wasn't very nice because everyone else was, you know, not as fat as I was. And I did not have the best high school because of it, but. Um, I learned to cope with it and I learned to love my body how it is now. And so I understand, did it affect you more in school or is it still as bad now? Well, I'm trying to, um, that it gets better, because, but the problem is if you look on the internet, you know, social media, Instagram, or that kind of stuff, you do see, you know, perfect models which have a perfect body and you're like, wow, I would like to have that. But actually it's really, it's like really difficult to somehow get that perfect body that you want. Like I'm still trying to get my perfect body, which I don't have yet, but but I'm still trying. So it was in high school, it was really bad in high school. It got it got better when I left high school just because I left all the people there. So it's going it's it's getting better, but it's still not how I like it to be. Sure, no, it's interesting what you mentioned. You said there because you mentioned social media, and obviously it's a it's a pretty known fact that there are so many more pressures laid upon our generation if you like compared to the times you know our parents lived in for example these days uh, we spend quite a large percentage of our lives on social media and social media can be great uh, in, you know in, in lockdown especially it is what kept people together it can you know it can also be quite a dark place now i'm not a massive social media user to be honest if i go out somewhere nice i might post a picture or two on snapchat or instagram but other than that i don't really use it much are you a big social media user yeah, so I use TikTok a lot. I use Instagram a lot. I use Facebook. I use Twitter. I use Snapchat. So I'm basically literally on every single platform out there. And of course, um, it's still not like for me. Um, I'm still trying to somehow not go on to social media that often just because I get influenced by people which look amazing and I look to myself thinking wow I do not look like them I wish I could but I'm not so mm. I mean I, I can definitely agree with you there um social media is you know celebrities and models and everything we'll we come on to that in, in a minute but, um did you ever sort of have you know, breaks on social media. I know you said you you try not to look at it, but uh, in my sort of in my in my case, I don't really. Uh, I I come away from social media for other reasons. Sometimes I just don't really like. You know, you go on Snapchat or something, and you can just see everyone's life, and it's just like, do I really need to see what you, the the new shoes you bought or something, or the new the new iPhone that you're trying to show off, the new car you've got or the whatever. And and sometimes that that sort of, I sort of deactivate my Snapchat and and sort of come away from it. You know, not just coming off the app, but I, you know, remove my account temporarily. Has it ever got to that for for you, or is it just a case of tapping the home screen and not look, not going back on it until you're ready? Well, I use it so basically by Snapchat. I use it to you know contact my friends because we do live um, a lot far away. But there were some times that 
I really thought like, wow, I need to get a break. And I did deactivate a few apps just because I couldn't take it anymore to just look at my social media all the time and see what people are doing amazing things like, you know, going on holiday and I'm just at home doing nothing. So I did do that a few times, yeah. And so if if we had a list, let's say, of different things that can affect young people's body image, where would you put social media in in that list? Well, social media is a very dark, well, it's dark place kind of because it can affect your body image. So I would say maybe at like third place. So what, what would, you know, one or two be? Um, well, one could, one would be, you know, the um, high school because, you know, school and environment, all that kind of stuff does af- can affect your um, body image and your mental health very much. And um, just the outside world would be second. And what about... TV programs such as you know you know Love Island for example. Fourth. Fourth. Yeah, yeah. I think you know. Of course, some TV shows you would think, oh my god, that is just you know uh, not very good. But then there are also TV shows that you know that are uplifting and that are true to body image and have different sized people you know as characters you know what i mean yeah so i would say it's fourth do you watch love island out of interest yes i do (laughs) what do you what do you think of it in terms of body image um well the problem is the people on love island are basically just you know um thin so and they have, like, you know, they wear bikinis, have an amazing body, look really amazing, look really hot and all that. And you're just like, oh, you would like to be the same, you know? So the violin for body image is not the is not the best role model, if you would look at it that way. So, Yeah. I've had friends in the past who have spoken to me about their body image and, and those conversations usually start with them saying that they just generally don't like their body or the way they look. And when I ask them why, quite a common answer is, you know, they, they basically say that they see people in their school, like you said, and they start compare, comparing themselves to those people who are often wearing a full face of makeup and this individual isn't. Obviously, uh, people use makeup in different ways. Some people apply makeup that still make them look like them. But obviously, makeup is an art. You can do anything with it. But it seems as though many young girls apply makeup to look like people they see on TV or social media, wouldn't, wouldn't you say? Yeah, I would say that, of course, 100%. Now, obviously, if you feel as though you, someone is doing this, anyone listening, if, you, if you're doing this and you're comparing your body with things you see every day, you're not alone. Obviously, a lot of us are influenced by the things around us, which can impact our mental health. So don't uh, feel ashamed for doing that either. Um, but... You mentioned you were, you were bullied in in school, Grace. What? Yeah. In what way were you treated differently? Oh, it was just because you know I wasn't as well, I didn't have. I'm not going to say I had the perfect body um, that you should have in high school, but I wasn't the thinnest person in high school. So of course that led to people thinking, hmm. And, of course, I wore a lot of oversized stuff to try and hide it because if you, you know, um, and they were all, like, skinny jeans and, like, tight tops and I wore, like, joggers and oversized T-shirts. And, of course, no one liked that. Um, And that's why I got a bit, uh, they, you know, I got, I didn't have that many friends in high school because of it. I know you said you, you sort of still struggle with your body image, but you, you said you're getting there. Um, so obviously it sounds like things are improving slowly, would you say? Yeah, they are. Yeah. Um, 
the, it's it's getting there. It's getting there for me to appreciate my body because I do see other people on social media who are like me, who um you know um who tell oh my gosh it's it's amazing to just be you. You should just be yourself. And so because of that, I'm. it's getting easier to accept myself because um, there are other people out there who are doing it the same, so I'm not alone. Sure. So if, if, if what you know now, you knew back when things were really bad back in school and you were, you were getting bullied and things, what would you say to your past self based on what you've learned? I would say that you should literally... You should, you should have ignored the people who were being negative towards you. And you should have just been proud of yourself for who you are. And do not, you shouldn't have changed yourself for anyone. You should have just, you know, be yourself, wear what you want to, and who cares what the others say? You're perfect as you are. So you don't have to change at all at all that that is what i would have said to my younger self brilliant advice thanks grace no problem a mental health podcast for young people unboxed with finley ratnet finley ratnet grace great to talk to you thanks for coming on now the main thing we should take from that is that it's important to be yourself but like i said earlier if you are comparing yourself to others don't be ashamed it's about being comfortable with the way you look. Think about what's important to you and what feels right for you. If you always try to copy other people or change for them, it can be hard to be yourself and feel comfortable. It takes time, but often you'll feel happier if you accept things about yourself. Accepting yourself means noticing things you are happy and unhappy about and seeing that they are all part of what makes you unique. Take a break from people who put you down. You could delete anyone who makes negative comments about you on social media. And walk away from people who say unhelpful things about you. For more information about body image and things you can do if you are struggling, you can visit unboxedpodcast.org forward slash support forward slash body image. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A mental health podcast for young people. Unboxed. With Finley Ratnet. Finley Ratnet. Finley.